when you're having a stroke, you can smell burnt toast. Well, good news, you're not having a stroke. It's lovely, thank you. Well, I aim to please. So to be clear, you got up early, snuck out and tried to make me breakfast. To what do I owe this surprise? I just wanted to treat you. So there's no ulterior motive? Hazel, I'm offended. Well, Dad called. No. Look, it'll be a few hours. No. I hate that place. It's so creepy. <laughs> You're being ridiculous. I'm not. And also, no offence, but your father's a little bit of a nut. Okay, I, I'll give you that, but he's he's got some new stock in and there's no one around to help. You tricked me with breakfast. I did. I wouldn't have eaten it if I'd known it was a bribery breakfast. Nice alliteration. <sighs> Shut up. Fine. Uh, complete works of Shakespeare. Yep. Uh, gold cup. Check. A human skull. Uh, yeah. Do either of you two fancy a cuppa? Oh, yeah, a, a cuppa would be great. Lovely. I'll just pop the kettle on. Uh, thanks again for this. Oh, no problem. Happy to help. Aren't we? What? Uh, yeah, no, really happy, yeah. I see you found yourself a nice little trinket. Keep it if you like. It'll look better on you than it does in that box. Sorry, I was just looking. It's yours. Consider it payment for all your hard work today. All right, well, thanks, it's lovely. I should be careful with that, though. I got it from a fellow in Sheffield. He was a mad old git. And a wizard. Dead now, God rest his soul. Right, about that tea. I never can tell when he's joking. He is joking, right? Probably. Right, sorry, um, clock thing. Um, yep, check. Okay, I think that's everything, we've just got... Gives us a kiss! Oh, Jesus, what is that thing? Uh, this is a Scottish Pine Martin. Well, it's gross, and I would like it well away from me, please. Oh, Hazel, don't you love me? No, not really. Oh, I'm such a handsome fellow. Why don't you love me? Because you're a stoos. All right, so if I looked like this, me and you would be off the cards. It's a bit shallow. You'd better be careful, mister, or the wind will change and I'll end up a beady-eyed little stoat forever. Never! Place looks well. No, it doesn't. So, you've had yourself a body swap, eh? How did you? Oh yeah. I used to think it was all nonsense, you know, all that stuff about magic and powers. Just silly stories he told me. Oh, some of them were. <laughs> Let me guess. You two haven't been seeing eye to eye lately. To say the least. And you probably shouted something during the thunderstorm too. Like a bloody idiot. Thought as much. Schoolboy error. No, no, I just wasn't thinking. Mm. Well, there's only one thing for a spell like this. True love's kiss? <laughs> no. Money. I know a warlock in Shoreditch will swap you back. He'd probably do it for 250. Of course. <laughs> True love's kiss. <laughs> Why haven't you been to visit me, James? Dad, please, not now. No, now. You turn up in Hazel's body, no less, after years without so much of a bloody Christmas card. Do you blame me for what happened? Is that it? No, of course not. Because I tried, you know, to fix it. 
that the man who cast a spell on that pendant was dead. And I sure as hell don't know how to undo that kind of magic. Dad, that's not it. I didn't blame you. I just... I was embarrassed. Well, why would you be embarrassed? Is that a joke? Because I'm a fucking stoke, Dad! Well, do you think I care about that? I'm your father, and I love you no matter what. And so did Hazel, for the record. That girl was mad about you. The bitch left me! I'm starting to understand why. She stood by you for a long time after the... But it seems like it wasn't just your body that changed. Oh, God. She's out there in the body of a dead bloody stoat. Better go find her. Mm. Thanks for the tea. Anytime, James. Good. Hey, hey, where are you going in a rush? <laughs> where have you been? Looking for you. I was right here. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Besides, she was pretty hot. Not sure about the bee outfit, though. No, not... Not that. Obviously, I am sorry about that, but... Everything. I've been such an asshole, and... I make your life hell, and... You have enough shit to deal with already. Thanks. I'm sorry, too. Life as a dead stoat isn't all it's cracked up to be. I got this show cancelled. I know. Oh, fuck. Honestly, I don't really care about the show. Well, you certainly made enough of a fuss about it. Because I wanted you to care. What? That doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. You're just too stupid to see that it's the only time I get to spend with you. <laughs> Please, you don't care about me. You left me because I turned into a stoat! I left you because you turned into a prick! But I've always cared. Well... I care about you too. Fine. Fine. Good. Brilliant. What are you doing? Through love's case. No, no, no. I know a warlock in shortage. He'll fix it for two fifty. Oh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Jobs kiss. It's it's good to see you guys back on air again. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dave. I can't believe Angela got fired after they found all that cocaine in her desk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, couldn't possibly comment, Dave. Wow, I didn't know you got a tattoo. Awesome. What?
like around the clock. That's a really nice dress, Regina. Where'd you get it? Oh, well, I made it myself especially for this show. Because <laughs> it looks like it looks a like bee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it.